Hello there, YouTube. So, in my last video, I, uh, or, I don't know which one I'll use first, but, yeah, it'll definitely be the other one first. Um, compared the, uh, Samsung against the, uh, the I or the iPhone 6 Plus, just my personal opinions there. Um, one of the things I said, uh, I'll discuss more about one of the things that makes this so special is the Samsung Gear watches, which I can see my dog, I knew she jumped up. Abby jumped up and licked my phone as I was coming in the shop. <laughs> or watch. It's still dirty. I've got a uh, specs. But anyway, this is the Samsung Gear 2. These things, if you guys haven't haven't used these watches, this is incredible. These new smart watches. They are insanely cool they look like they're really huge they're not that bad at all when you're wearing them um, the gear has been around for a couple three years now um, this is I uh, one that just come out this year the gear 2 um, this one you know the they used to have the home button or device button was on the side and had a big wart hanging off the uh, off the band that was a camera now the camera uh, is built into the to the back side of it it does a I've got it set so it goes into camera mode there's my old DR and my covered up iron but uh give it a shot she takes a picture and you can switch switch the video and uh We'll just take a quick video so you can see what that's like in this low light of my shop. Here's my, my droid phone. Nope, but it, it only does it in 15 seconds. So it's only 15 second video. We'll let her just run out here. But anyway, um, has all the cool stuff that if you guys have been into these. You know, it's got the heart rate monitor. Um, you can, when it's paired to the phone... Um, you can answer and place cell phone calls with it. Really cool stuff. Uh, good looking watch. This is a, one of the watch faces I, I purchased. You have an option um, of choosing between... Maybe that's not... I don't... I'll explain why I don't recall how to go to it. But anyway, you can change the different watch faces. It has several defaults. This was a 99 cent one. I just like that look of that kind of a watch. Anyway, the uh, S Health and all this stuff, it all syncs with the phone. Uh, you get emails and alerts and whatever, everything comes across the phone. So you don't have to pull the phone out of your pocket, you know, to see that so-and-so mail or sent you an email. It's great at work. I'm, uh, I'm famous for missing my, my <laughs> work emails, although it's wintertime. I don't get a lot of those anymore. Sorry about the spots. Uh, Abby, the little black dog, she ran up on me and licked it. I had it in my hand. But um, anyway, fantastic phone or watch. It's good looking as hell, too. I, I personally think. Um, I don't think it's too gaudy or anything like that. It's got a fantastic clap, a clasp for the watch. I love one that, that you don't have to thread through. Those, uh, I mean, they work great, they look good and stuff, but, you know, over time they get wore out. Uh, the way this thing adjusts is really nice. It's comfortable, and uh, it's hypoallergenic, or however the hell you pronounce that. But, uh, fantastic. So, one of the things that people complain about is how you charge it. you got to put this little briquette on the back, and you ch it plugs into a... Uh, micro USB and it charges it and you can uh, move pictures that you've taken and videos directly to your computer while it's plugged into that also and I have it set by default to push all um, pictures and videos over to the phone let me bop in here hopefully I don't have anything personal on here let's go to the gear on device None of them's moved over. It's because of my poor Wi-Fi out here. But um, anyway, it should be Bluetooth in it over there. But Bluetooth is very, very slow. Oh, you know what? I don't have it connected to this. That's why it's not moving over. It's not connected. 
The reason it's not connected, it's connected to this, the Gear S. This is uh, their newest one that they come out with. This one does the same thing as the Gear 2, except for, you know, it's a little door right there. That's a SIM card. This thing can live life as, on its own and be a cell phone without being paired to the device. Works fantastic. And that screen, that rolling screen is fantastic. Again, with it, you can check emails. That's I cleared it before I came out here, so I've picked up a couple since I've been out. Um, and from these, the little clock, the little dials in the dial, any of these things you can click to and it'll take you to that. Like the, the date, it'll bring you to today's events, the weather, brings you to the weather. Um, steps, it'll bring me to S Health. You can see I haven't been wearing it today. I've got literally zero steps today, 98 steps. <laughs> I burnt five calories. But, um... The apps you got the full um, S Health um, suite in here. The only thing you can't take the blood oxygen uh, reading in it with this, but um, it's got a UV light detector. It's got I don't know if you can see those, but there's a couple of sensors. One's an ambient light, and one uh, measures uh, uh, the uh, UV. And then there's the weather. You got to click in to go further. It brings up the weather. Um, a news news app it's basically flipboard something about rolling through that round screen is just very fun uh, today's agenda and then a, a quick settings this thing you can uh, there you can change you can have up to five different apps on this the notifications is always over here but you can have up the five apps of your choosing um, on the home page I guess you could say a swipe up and brings you into all your apps or recent apps but they say recent apps but literally it's all in it's in order how you've left it this one has a web browser and uh, that new that's the flipboard thing the news briefing but when you go into the app outside of the home screen it switches between the uh, you know the four top things that you've picked in your flipboard deal there's just another settings app that I got from uh, from Samsung. I actually downloaded that um, unit converter, calculator, schedule, task, settings, gallery. You can push photos over to it. It does not have a camera, and uh, it doesn't have the infrared blaster on it. Uh, the compass. It looks like it wanted to be set. It's got a navigator, which is by uh, here, which is who is that Nokia or something that owns that but uh, with with the uh, navigator it does have to be paired to the phone but uh, anyway stopwatch timer find my device this is kinda cool and you can go you can go the other way around too you can uh, find you can go into the gear app Let's just bop into that right quick and uh, find my gear. A nice, a nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be uh, doesn't have to be paired to the phone like it does on the uh, on the Gear Two. But this is the Samsung Gear Suite that allows you to manage pretty much everything on the phone, all the settings and apps and whatnot. Um, pretty cool stuff but oh man this thing takes smartphones to a to a whole nother world whole nother level uh, weather s voice s voice works uh, works really well I've got it the double click on the uh, on the other phone is is set for uh, for the camera double click on this is is s voice See if it'll pick up anything. What's the weather in Toledo today? I can't find a network connection. Yeah. Please connect and try again. Yeah. Too weak out here. So I've I've tested it out. I've walked away from the phone, and uh, it immediately just seamlessly switches over to Wi-Fi. 
and uh, from there it'll it'll switch over to cellular once you get out of the out of the Wi-Fi network. Um, this is you know obviously a larger phone, but still it's not it's not too gaudy. It's got the same type of clasp as the as the Gear Two, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it is a big phone, but it's not that big. Um, if you're worried about wearing a big phone, you probably won't like something like this. But once you get used to using this a uh, smartwatch and all the features you have, and being able to take and place phone calls, it's fantastic. And it's amazing how much better people can hear me on the phone than they can hear me on the note. Um, I don't know what the deal is with the note, but the people have a hard time hearing me. I, they say I sound very muffled, and uh, I can barely hear them. And I've got all the volume and everything turned up. You know, I I don't make a lot of phone calls on this because this is just a spare number that I have as my backup phone. But um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I can barely hear them. They can barely hear me. And that's you know, with or without the case. You know, the case is. Um, you know, it's got direct access holes into the microphone, so it's it's not blocking anything. And like I said, it made no difference whether it was in the case or not. And I don't have a screen protector or anything on the front, so it's, you know, the speaker is wide open. But, uh, anyway, love these watches. They're awesome. Oh, one other thing. The reason I brought up the little uh, charging brick, you'll notice the one for the Gear S is gi-huge. I mean, this thing is big son of a gun well this thing the gear s has a 300 milliamp battery this built into it has a 150 milliamp battery so in a pinch should your gear get conked out you can uh you can plug this into the back without without the cable just plug it in and it'll bring you 50 percent it'll add 50 percent of wherever you're at so you get a half charge just out of its little little charging brick. Pretty cool stuff, huh? But anyway, there's a my quick little review of the of the Samsung Gear watches. I got the brightness turned down on this, and that screen is uh, kind of dim looking anyway. But uh, yeah, smartwatch is fantastic. Apple's got one, you know, coming out first part of next year, but it doesn't have the phone built in it. And man, the phone being built into the, you know, having built in. And the other thing too, with uh, with AT and T, because as I mentioned in the other one, I'm I'm with AT and T. The uh, antenna in this is uh, uh, HSPA plus, which is 21 megabits per second. That is 4G. The watch is, is advertised as uh, as 2G, or 3G, I'm sorry. You can see I have uh, like no networks going on there. I hit it wrong. But long press, if you guys don't know this, a long press with two fingers brings up your, uh, your tasks, and you can close all the running apps in the background if you want. Uh, double tap brings up a quick status for uh, brightness. Just turn that thing up quite a bit. I'll just max her out. So there you are. There's a good, good view of what she looks like. And I've got it set to time out in, in a ten seconds. And one of the things you'll notice too is when it, when it first boots up, the notifications and all this stuff is, it's just the watch. Let's see if I can mimic looking at it. You can see it's just the watch. Everything else is is uh, dimmed out in the background. So uh, for just normal use, you know, flipping the thing up and taking a look at it, it's just a watch. And then uh, you touch the screen and immediately it activates it. And you can, from the watch, you can go to notifications, weather, uh, whatever you want to do. And uh, the way the apps work on this, there's no no sweep up. You know, sweep down is a cancel. To get to apps, you got to go to apps. I've got the background just set to black on this. I You can change the background on this one also. As you can see, this one's got the heart rate. It doesn't have as much stuff as the as the Gear S, but you know you got your pedometer and all that stuff. And uh, isn't there? Seems like there will say. Uh, seems like there's an exercise. Yeah, exercise. Once you're into exercise, you can uh, 
have it set for uh, you know monitoring your heart rate and whatnot and then you have a setting between running walking cycling or hiking now, this one's a little easier to get into those modes with the uh, with the gear s because it's got the full s health suite similar to what the phone does but uh, a swipe down brings you back to the home screen or it just keeps going backwards and it'll go all the way back to the watch same with this you push hold and uh, brings up your task manager and you can close all. This watch is kind of cool, gives you a battery, date, and then a digital time. Um, there's not one of those that allow you to quickly switch into whatever, like you can see notifications and stuff. There's different watch faces that you can do it, but uh, not one quite similar to the, to the built-in one like this has. But uh, cool stuff. Man, smart watches are so cool. I thought, why would you want something on your wrist when you're gonna, you know, you got your phone in your pocket anyway? And to deal with the camera, I thought, you know, if I need to take a picture, I'm just gonna pull my camera out. But you'd be surprised how many pictures I've taken with this thing that I wouldn't have been able to get by the time I got the phone out of my pocket, opened up the app, or you know, swiped from the home screen, whatever. Um, it's just, yeah, double click. I've got it set so the double click is the is the phone or the camera and just touch screen blam pictures taken and it's only two megapixels and uh you know she's a pretty weak camera but uh a bad picture is better than no picture as the old saying goes so uh there you go samsung gear watches they only work with samsung device samsung devices and not all of them you need to look at the list and see what they work with but uh all the newer samsung's uh, they uh, do work with and a lot of the tablets too so you can go to uh, look at their website and it'll give you a list of, of uh, all the devices that the phones connect with cool stuff this one retails through AT&T for the AT&T version 329 this one's 299 um, the Verizon or CDMA version I believe is 429 I think so anyway so you know three basically three thirty or three hundred dollars spend the extra thirty dollars and get that unless it's just too big for you to stand but for what that does the larger two inch display fantastic you will have to uh... Um, get a sim card for it if you want the uh, cell network to work but you can buy them unlocked or under contract too with uh... i know for sure AT&T and Verizon i'm not sure about T-Mobile and Sprint I think there's versions of those too, but anyway, thanks a lot. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, I'm sorry if I left that in the screen the whole time. What a retard. But uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Take care now. Bye-bye.